In these last few examples, we're going to be um, putting together things that we've already talked about with our new ideas of positive and negative numbers. So in our first example, it says evaluate 2x plus y for x equals 5 and y equals negative 3. Well, the first thing that we need to do is simply replace that. Remember what evaluate means, to replace the variable with those numbers. So we have 2 times whatever x is plus whatever y is. Well, they told us to replace x with 5, and they told us to replace y with negative 3. So now we have 2 times 5 plus negative 3. Now, because we have multiplication here and then addition subtraction, we have to do the multiplication first. So 2 times 5, of course, would be 10, and then we have plus our negative 3. Our signs here are different. We have a positive 10 and a negative 3 that we're combining. So since the signs are different, we're supposed to subtract, which would be 7, and then take the sign of the larger number. 10 is bigger and it is positive, so our answer would be positive 7. In the next problem, we're going to do actually the same thing because we have 2x plus y again. So this time, instead of x, they told us to use 3, and instead of y, they told us to use negative 25. Now I'm going to write this one just slightly different so you can see that it is the exact same thing. When, of course, the 2 times 3 is 6, but when we plus a negative 25, that's actually the exact same thing as saying a negative 25. So instead of writing it as plus a negative, you could go ahead and just say 6 minus 25. Now these signs are different, so we would subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. 25 is bigger than 6, so they would, the answer would be negative. In our next problem, it's kind of a word problem, telling us to find the sum of. Well, if you'll remember from your keywords, the sum of means to add. So we're going to be adding up all of these things. It says to take negative 43 and add that to negative 15 and add that to 50. So just like what we've worked before, we can do these two at a time. Our signs here are the same, both of them are negative, so we would add and keep that sign the same. Now I'm going to drop down my plus 50 and begin again. Now our signs are different, negative and a positive, so we would subtract and then keep the sign of the larger number. Okay, we're going to finish up with some word problems here. This one we have says the temperature at 4 p.m. one day was negative 6 degrees Celsius. By 11 p.m. the temperature had risen 9 degrees. Find the temperature at 11 p.m. Well, let's look at that in picture form first. If we had kind of a crude thermostat here with our mercury line in the middle, 0 degrees would be in the center. Negative 6 degrees would be down here below what 0 is. And then if the temperature rose 9 degrees Celsius, then we would have to count up 9 notches from the negative 6. That would put us at 3 degrees Celsius. In this one, they're saying find the, the difference in temperature between the months of March and February. Well, March and February are right here, these two. Now, we can see that if you are up 12, and this month is down 3, that that's a total of like 15 units between the two of them. But they're asking us for the difference. Well, remember, when we're writing this, we have to find the difference in the months of March and February. So the difference would be the subtraction between March and February. But because we have the double negative here, that actually becomes a positive. So 12 plus 3 is 15. That's exactly what we expected it to be, even though they had the word difference in there. The last problem is, again, another thermostat problem. If we kind of draw in a crude thermostat and we have our negative 116 degrees down at the bottom, and our 129 degrees at the top, we can tell that we're looking for this temperature range here. So we're looking for the difference between 129 and negative 116, which would be the same as positive.